Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Only Underground Challenge. We are heading back to the trial chamber. We finally made it. And I had to walk back to get get one ominous bottle. I oh, I might be so stupid. In hindsight, I probably should have gotten more because if I die, then I'm not going to be able to make it through the whole thing. But okay, all we need though is the amount of keys that we weren't able to unlock, which would be I think there was one in here. There's one in the middle, one in the main room, and maybe two branching off. Yeah, one here. Right? There's one in here. Is there one in here? I actually don't know if there's one in here. I don't think there is. If there would be, it would probably be, like, in here. No. Okay, I guess there's not. There's only three? We only need three keys. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, there is one. Okay, so one, two, right above me. There's one at the back of this main room, three. There's one in this room, four. And then I think there's one uh, in the room that we were fighting the skeletons in. Yeah, so five. So in total, we need five keys. So hopefully we're able to get that. We'll see, though. We'll start in the skeleton room because there's so many to fight. Uh, and it'll give us a little bit of linearity in how we do this. So right through here, we should be able to sip on that. And start it up. Is this going to make it go faster, or do they still do one at a time? I think they still do one at a time. Ooh. Skeleton with a... With a diamond helmet. Dead. Oh. Okay, you're dead. Oh. Ooh, strength. I'll take that and go like this. You're all dead. You're all dead. Bam. Yep, nice. Alright, and then... Did I put my regen potion away? I guess I did. Last episode. Ouch. Ow. Okay, I still have strength. Yep. Hello? Am I missing? What the heck is just happening? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no! Okay, got that. Any more down here? Yes. Strength, 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 strength. Nice. What? Hello? Ow, who's shooting me? Oh, it's you. Ha. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Stop. The stupid infected potion. Ugh. All right, that gave me golden carrots. This gave me a regen potion. All right. Not helpful. Okay. And no, there should be more up here. That's where it is. Like this. Okay. I'm still infected. I'm still... Ah. Ow. Ow. And I'm not strong anymore. Okay, let's let's drink this real quick. So we can toss that. Oh, that's my sword. Where is my sword? Oh, God, where's my sword? What the heck happened to my sword? Okay, axe for a second. Um. Ah. I'm impulsively hitting one. Ow. Okay. Axe. Ow. Where did my sword go? Where is it? Let me up. <laughs> I can't get up. Oh my god. Okay, wait. We might be a little bit screwed here. I'm not gonna lie. It's hard to fight when I don't have a sword. Oh my god. Everybody has oozing now. Okay, wait. Let me up. Okay. Alright, take these guys out. They're the ones that hurt the most. Where the heck is my sword? Where would it have gone? Is it still in my hand? Oh my god, it was just invisible! It was just invisible! It was a visual glitch! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that was hard. Okay, I got meat from that one. Alright, please give me a key from this last one. Hey. Hey. There we go. Please key. Oh, dang it, man. This sucks. Okay, I don't want that. Oh, <laughs> look at my I'm pin cushion, man. This is crazy. All right, and then all the slimes are down here. Kill them all. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Boom, boom. Still big slime down here? Yep. Ouch. So I didn't get a single key from this room. That does not bode well. 
<sighs> it does not bode well for going forward because I need five. I don't think there's there's not a lot of spawners in this room. Or in this uh, whole chamber, actually, is what I meant to say. I don't know where that guy's little hisses are coming from. Okay. Uh, let's go then into... Oh, right. I forgot that we have this. Boink. Boink. So can slimes have oozing? Because that would be really funny if there was like a, a lingering potion of oozing and they all got oozing. And then when I killed the slimes, more slimes spawned. That seems like that's probably not the case, though. Just because that feels like it wouldn't make much sense. You just get, like, infinite slime, basically. <laughs> I'm guessing slimes that spawn from oozing can't have oozing, though. Now, I'm guessing just slimes in general can't have oozing at all. If I were to guess. But I'm sure they can have infected. Bonk. How did you get down here without dying? Alright. Sweeping edge. Boom. Alright. And then up. No key. Just food. Great. Alright. So that's another one that we didn't get anything from. That's five so far. Five potential keys and zero keys in total. <laughs> Why do you spawn behind me? That's cheating. Ouch! Please! Oh no. I need my water bucket. My axolotl! Okay. <laughs> okay, we're good. Ooh, s speed? No matter if I do. Get out of here! All of you! <laughs> Jeez, there's a lot of slimes in here. Yes, a key. Okay, thank goodness. I would love a second one from this room. That would be fantastic, if possible. More spawning? Seriously? Oh my goodness. Never-ending slimes. Get out of here. Is there a big one down here somewhere? Why is the... Oh, here it is. Get out of here. How did, <laughs> how did I get all the way over here? Oh my gosh, that was a lot of slimes. That was crazy. Alright, got my speed potion. Go through there. Look at how fast I am. More slime balls. Dude, we're <laughs> we have infinite slime. Okay, so we got one. One so far. That's not great. Sorry, that was a sneeze. I kind of forget. I don't think I have a mute button on my keyboard anymore. I went to reach for the mute button and then it didn't give it to me. Okay. Let's uh let's try this one. Let's like actually give it a shot on getting the the heavy core. Oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Okay. Here we go. And next one. Oh, I need that too. No, I don't. I'm I'm well I guess if I need more keys, I'll have to do it a second time. Heavy core. Heavy core. Heavy core. Bam. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Boom. No. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Dang it! <laughs> we got freaking music disc. Which is also cool, but I already have one from the first time we did this, unfortunately. Okay, well at least that means that there's no reason to come back into this room. Uh, it's so impossible to actually get that reaction time. Okay, so that still has one that needs to be done. Okay, so this is Stray's. Ow, ow. Stop! Punch bow. Eh. What, are the, what is that? Oh, is that wind charged? Let's find out. Oh, none of them have it. Ouch. Boom. Oh, that's... You're not dead. Ouch. Yeah, it is wind charged. There's a couple of you guys. Why are you still alive? 
Why are you still alive, man? I feel like I've hit you so many times. What? That just went through him. <laughs> oh, there we go. That guy had one charge. Yay! Another key. So we already got this one, right? Oops. Oops. Come on. There we go. Yep, we already got that one. That's good. Uh, let's use the... Up. There we go. On husks. Oh, God. Please don't spawn babies. No babies. No babies. Okay, so when one dies, then another will spawn right there. This is pretty easy. Boom. Just knock him back immediately. Thanks for the poison arrow. Through out of the sky. What is that? Infested? Get away! What is this? Oh, that's still falling. Oh, another key. Nice. Okay, that's that's beautiful. We're making up. Making up for the losses before. Don't spawn so slow. Yeah, I, I knew that right when I get closer to it, it's going to spawn another one. Ouch. Slow falling slimes. No. Oh. Get away. Ouch. Ow. Oh my god, this one spawns so many. I guess because they're so non-threatening, it's just like, you might as well spawn like a million of them. Okay, that was it. Nope, still going. That was it, for sure, right? Wrong. Alright, that was it, for sure, right? There we go. Alright, a little bit of extra golden carrot action for me. Bam, and bam! There we go. Bam! So many slime balls. Holy moly, this is awesome. Okay, and we still have a stray spawner up here. Wait, give me that. Oh, let's just stand here. Right on it. We're not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of the dark. I don't know how it goes, actually. Any uh, big, any big Into the Spider-Verse fans over there? Or out there, I mean. Because I am spectacular movie and across the spider-verse and I'm excited for beyond the spider-verse which is now coming in 2027 which is to be expected I suppose and I'm actually very glad that they're taking more time on it because I was worried that it was gonna be bad okay regen potion that's fine I'll take it we got two keys from in here which is great I think we can use one back here if I'm remembering correctly Pretty sure I didn't get anything out of this room yet. There's four more spawners that we can try to get keys from in here. No babies. No babies. No babies. Ah! I knew there would be babies. No babies. No babies. Oh, God. Oozing. Here we go. Slimes. No. Get away. No, I didn't want golden carrots. Ugh. Die! Okay, here we go. Hey, loser. Ouch. Dead. Two, three, four, dead. One, two, three, dead. And one, two, three, dead. Okay. Good. Oh, imagine the key burnt. I would have been so sad. Dude, that guy got launched! Holy crap! That must that guy must must have a punch bow. Look at that, boing. Okay, you're dead. Yes. Without me even having to go up there. Oh, there y'all have weaving. Just kind of cool. Ow. Where did you come from? Hey, how are you still not dead? Oh. Boom. Boom. Wrong. Wrong. Boom. Ow. Stop doing that. <laughs> Ugh, they take forever to kill when they have iron armor on. Alright, bam. Is that all from up here? Yes, and another key. Happy. Very cool. We have four keys. Actually, that means we have enough because we've already opened a couple. Yay, we did it! We got what we needed. Please drop a strength potion. I'm tired of these guys. Ah. Boom. 
Okay, one of them down here is going to die pretty soon. How am I missing? How am I missing? Dude, this guy is just destroying me right now. Juking me out. Okay, here we go. Boop. Nice. Alright, that means we're going to have extra keys then. So I'm pretty sure that this is one we need to unlock still. Well, let's head up. Yep. Cool. Alright, let's give this one another try. Uh, it's really pointless because I'm pretty sure it's not even possible. But people have said that they've done it before, so I might as well try. Let's see if we can get it. I don't like trying, though, because it takes forever. It takes forever, and you just sit here, and then you get really nervous, and then the instant it's on the screen, you miss it, and it's sad. So I'm not going to give it very long. Because it's a very rare thing to actually see in the lineup, which is kind of annoying. It's mostly diamonds and emeralds and, and whatever those are called, wind charges. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Ready? We'll give it from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bam. Enchanted golden apple. Cool. Oh, and an iron block. Okay, what we need to do is pop this open and put 1 million slime balls in there. Then we're going to collect that. Then we're going to open our ender chest, put the full one in, put the take the empty one out, and then we're going to plonk that down, put some more slime balls in, uh, create our music disc, a stack of arrows, might as well, and replenish my breeze rods, or my whatever the hex they're called, stack of bones, might as well. Oh, I have exactly a stack of, that's kind of fun, okay. All right. Unlucky. We still have three more to try. All right, I think. Pretty sure that's the count. So let's see what we can get. Can't. Nothing from there. All right, so that was the back. Did we do this one yet? Wait, yes. We already looked at that. Yeah. I hear something crackling, though. Trial spawner crackles. Wait, what? What's through that? door wall what's under there hold on here is this something we never saw or was it yeah what is that what's through here I can hear something oh oh yeah how do you get in here oh this is from floor three but still, I don't think that that's... Oh, I must have been hearing the one up here. Ah, that's what I was hearing. Oopsies. Okay. My bad. Ah. Boom, boom. Ow. Stop. Okay, goodbye. Oh. Normal key. Normal key. My thing ended? I took 30 minutes? Dude! Well, okay. Well, it's a good thing that we got the keys that we needed. Oh, yeah, and we already opened this one. That's why this is blocked off. Okay. Makes sense. All right, so that's the one that we had already opened. Now we've opened the one back here, so we don't need to go back in here. That means... Wasn't there something near the entrance of where we came in? But that was like... Yeah, that was just one of the little loot rooms. So that only leaves this one like this hello just gonna go random on this one boom another enchanted golden apple cool oh nice not that we need it though I mean what would what would we need it for <laughs> we actually don't need any more uh, of these so there's really no point in grabbing that and then it should just be this one then isn't it or did we not do the the one in the skeleton room, I, I sort of can't remember. I think we did. So here we go. Another enchanted golden apple. Alright, and that is a verdict that has completely ended. Why did I feel like I heard more? Oh, candle crackles. I see. How do we put candles out? I thought there was a way to put them out. To, like step on them I know I can break them can you no that would be so cool if you could light 
candles with a, a fire aspect sword. Okay, and then there was nothing in there, except for a fully grown mangrove propagule now. Well, that stinks. We'll try the skeleton one, but I'm pretty sure that we opened that. No, because I went in there and didn't get... Yeah, this is unopened. Yeah, okay, so this is the last one. Yeah, right, because we should have exactly one more than what we needed. Okay, here we go again. We're going to try... I'm actually going to wait until I see it, but I feel like this is just a guarantee that you don't get it, because if you do see it and then you miss it, l chances are the next one is going to be something that it isn't. So I feel like just doing random is so much better. I'm f so locked in right now. Dude, I'm, I'm scared. I'm so scared. Okay. What? <laughs> Why? Why is it taking so long? I'm trying to keep the beat. Did I get it? Oh my god, I actually did it! I did it! I did it! Oh my god, I did it! That was awesome! I can't believe I actually did it! No way! That is so cool! Dude! Awesome! Let's freaking go, I'm so excited. Oh, yes! So that means we can get mace enchantments. I, I've been trying to from the villagers and I haven't really found ones yet that I want but all we can really get is uh, density. Density would be what we wanted. So maybe since maces are so rare I'd only need the enchantment m once. Maybe if I see a density 5 no matter what price it is I'll just take it. And then we ha already have unbreaking, mending, fire aspect. Uh, we can't get wind charge because we would have had to get it from here. And I'll, I'd obviously have to search through one million more trial chambers in order to get it. But we freaking got this one. Let's go. I can't believe we got it on the last one and we got it by trying instead of just doing random. That was awesome. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. What a, what a triumphant way to end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, wrong side. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed. I have had a lot of fun, even though I had already played two trial chambers. It's fun to do a third one. Um, sorry for the lost footage. You really didn't miss much more than what you just saw, except instead of strays, I was fighting bogs, and instead of slimes, I was usually fighting, like, zombies, and there weren't husks, so, <laughs> yeah, not that different. Um, and then there was just the disappointment of not getting a mace, so honestly, this turned out better than what we had before. So, that means next episode, we are going to be going for a... How the heck did I miss these? How the heck did I miss these? <laughs> what? I walked right over them? That's insane. Um, we're going to be going for a... I just want to get rid of that stack. Going to be going for an ancient city. I could look through here, maybe. But I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm going to... Um, Dig a different way. Dig a dig a direction that we haven't dug before. Um, and then maybe we'll get lucky. But anyway, that's going to be next episode. For this episode, I hope you've all enjoyed. Until next time, have a great day. And goodbye. Alright guys, we're back. I realized that we only had 24 minutes recorded so far in this episode. So, I figured uh, we can just stick together while I... Uh, <laughs> we can just stick together while I uh, look for the ancient city. Which is what we're doing next. So I just kind of want to pick a whoops. I kind of want to pick a random direction. Um, let's bring our. Well, we have our under chest with us, which is good. Uh, we don't really have a means to get dyes that easily. Or I guess we do. Can't we just bone meal dirt and like it might be flowers sometimes? Also, 
I guess lapis exists and other things. I guess dye can come from different places. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, we don't need it. So let's keep one shulker box on us. Let's make sure that this is silk touch. Like that. Okay, so I kind of want to just pick a direction. We've gone that way. We went that way for the... Hold on, let me have everything set for... Um, for playing decked out where I want it more. Anything else? No, that should be good. Okay, um, yeah, I'm just going to pick a random direction. We went that way. We, we've gone this way really far for our mine. We've gone that way really far for uh, the trial chambers. So I think I want to go this way because that way spawns. So we've been a little bit that way. I think I'm just going to start a new strip mine, and I'm going to, like, treat this as if I'm just, as if I'm just digging for resources, and that way I won't, like, whoops, what the heck? I hate that that's a key bind. Um, let's see, I'm at negative 54. Yeah, ancient cities spawn at, like, lava level, so negative 54 should be perfect. Um, I'm just going to treat this as if I'm going for resources, and that way I won't go crazy trying to find the, hello? Trying to hello? Why can't I get to torches? Uh, I won't go crazy trying to find the ancient city. I think I'm just gonna like act like I'm just looking for diamonds, even though we obviously don't need him any more diamonds at all. Um, I'm still gonna treat it like that and uh, and just see. I'm just literally gonna dig straight until I find something, and if I find uh, like deep dark, um, then I'll look around the deep dark for an ancient city. But other than that, I'm just going to dig until I break right into one. Because I should, at this level, I should uh, break into one. So, anyway, this is going to be it's going to be risky, uh, but fun. We'll probably die, add to the deaths for the first time in, like, several episodes. So, I'm kind of planning for that. But, for now, I kind of just want to record, like, the last six minutes with you guys. Um, and then we can have, like, the ancient city be the focus of next episode and maybe the episode after that but we're gonna do it without wings we're gonna take our wings off and put our chest plate on when we're in there because i think that's the the best way to do ancient cities it's not that fun when you could just fly away from the wardens i feel like that gets rid of a lot of the danger so um but yeah so that's the plan for now um but yeah, I just wanted to record the last six minutes. I didn't realize uh, today is the day. I'm recording this on the day that this is going to be posted. I didn't realize I didn't have enough footage for this episode. I didn't realize it was so short. Uh, but I guess that's because the ominous raid was, or ominous trial chamber was not that, uh, like, hefty. Plus, I already had keys going in. So all I did was just open the, <laughs> open the gate, the, 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 whatever you call them, vaults. So, yeah. We have so much gold. Also, the other thing that we want to go to this ancient city for is coal. I'm pretty sure this is the last 42 coal that I have. Like, at all. Like, to my name. <laughs> so, uh, ancient city spawned a lot of coal. So, we're going to be kick picking up coal galore while we're there. Which is good. Keep my pick healed, hopefully, as I dig like this. But yeah, I'll just do six minutes of digging. It's probably three minutes by now. And we'll just stop at the normal 30 minute mark as as usual, or I say as usual, that's what I'm going for each time I do an episode, and then I wind up usually doing something closer to an hour. But I know that you guys like my long form content, hello? I know that you guys like my long form comp content, or at least a lot of people seem like they do and tell me that they do. And, um, you know, that's like kind of the draw of my channel and sort of the brand that I've tried to make a little bit, which is to say that back in the day there wasn't like all this high editing you know adhd catering minecraft content like there is now where it's like every two seconds there's a cut um and i try to stray away from that one because i don't know how to do it two because i don't have the resources or the time to do it um and three because i hate it <laughs> well I, I consume it but i i would hate making it i don't think that that is the type of person i am i think i'm i'm much more of a sit back relax no music let's just play minecraft together so um and you guys seem to like that a lot of people say like oh this reminds me of early youtube this reminds me of like ethos old videos where it was just like dead silent and he'd just be like doing something <laughs> you know i try to fill the space with me talking about stuff man it thunders a lot in this world um oh something i forgot to mention in the trial chambers that you guys didn't get to see i found two tridents in chests it wasn't from the vault because i know you can get them from the vault it wasn't from the vault they were in chests and i had never seen that before i didn't know it was possible 
and I found two of them in the same trial chamber. It was crazy. So yeah, I have two tridents now, meaning I'm probably going to try to get the... I still have five villagers to do, so I'm going to try to get some of the trident enchantments from the villagers. Like, maybe channeling would be fun. Or maybe riptide. We should probably prioritize riptide because uh, that can get us around. You know, we can add, like, little water puddles around our cave and we can just use riptide instead of... Uh, instead of rockets, since rockets are such a, a rare commodity. So... Speaking of, let me, I'll collect, I'll collect gunpowder while we're down here. Thank you very much. And kind of run through here. I do want to make uh, the return flyable though, so I do need to make a straight shot. Um, let me just heal pick by going like this. Oh, that was easy. Okay, yeah, nothing really over here. I'm not going to go up there. Okay. Uninteresting cave. Didn't like it. Okay. Anyway, so yeah. I got two tridents. Okay, this is the right block. I got two tridents, and um, so yeah, we're gonna... I mean, we could make either one. We could make a loyalty channeling one. Not that channeling would get us anything, because we can only strike things with lightning if we're above ground. Like, if we have access to the sky, which we don't. I mean, we could go to, like the caves that reach the sky and maybe you know throw it at things there but i mean the only thing that it really does is give us like heads mob heads so that's not that special um but anyway yeah uh so i got those two tridents and i kind of forgot to mention that um but yeah so just you know my content is usually just i think you guys like the long form stuff of course i check my like audience retention on the long form stuff. Ow, ow, ow. Um, and it's not always amazing. Oh, it's this. We're under the lava fall. That's fun. Okay. Good. Um, yeah, we're right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I check my, my, my audience retention, and by the, by the end of every episode, especially the really long ones, it's like 6% people watching but honestly you know that's not bad i don't go for retention um you know you guys know that i'm not really trying to grow my channel it's very fun to see the numbers grow but uh, it's not really my goal um so it really doesn't matter to me what my retention looks like i just like to look at the numbers and see uh like what people like and what people don't like and stuff like that um but yeah, so it's it's cool. Um, but for the most part, I mean, that's what that's usually. If I get a positive comment, that's usually like what it is. It's usually like I really like these long videos. Keep it up. Like I really like long form, low editing content. It's just like chill, and you're just yapping, and we're just sitting and talking. But what I was trying to say earlier is like, yeah, I fill the space. Like old old YouTube was like, uh, you know, commentators like Etho and. And, you know, people in that vein where it was like it was completely new to these kinds of people to be doing this. Like, gamers were usually a little bit more antisocial back then. And they still are. I mean, that's still a stereotype for gamers. And that's, you know, I guess not, it's not a stereotype if it's true. Um, it, it's very true. I mean, most gamers are, you know, you become a gamer because that's just your personality. And your personality is more often than not pretty antisocial now. That's not to say every gamer is antisocial, and I consider myself to be pretty social. Um, but it was funny because back in the day, you know, these people that started uh, Let's Play series for like Minecraft and other games like that, it was so new because YouTube came out and gaming was becoming becoming popular on YouTube. It was so new for these people who like started gaming because they, you know, wanted to stay in and you know, make, have a hard time talking to people and things like that, but then they start channels where they have to talk to people. <laughs> so, back in the day, you know, you could find, you could watch a Let's Play series, like Etho's early, early Let's Play series. Who talk like this. Hello, everybody. My name is Etho. And, hello, everybody. My name is Etho. And I'm starting a Let's Play series. You know, it would be like that, so. <laughs> um, that's like... Obviously, I have a little bit more energy than that because if I am recording, I'm usually filling the space by talking and talking about what I'm doing, and I'll cut out any time that, you know, I don't, I can't really commentate or I don't really have something to say. It's either something that has has nothing to do with the game, or it'll be me talking about what we're doing in the game. But either way, I'm not going to just sit and play the game in silence. That would be like more like an 
an ASMR channel or something, <laughs> or like a, a long place, you know, no talking channel kind of thing. So it's never going to be like that. I have a little bit of energy, but I'll never have that kind of energy where it's like every other every other second there's a freaking cut, or it's like you're cutting out your breaths between between words, which just to me is like crazy. Like you cut out every time you stutter, stu <laughs> like that. Every time you stutter or every time you take a breath, like literally like every pause in your sentences, they cut out nowadays. And it's like, dude, I, I like can't keep up with what you're even saying because it goes so fast. Like I hate it. But I do watch it. I mean, like, it, the people I'm talking about are, like, the the Dreams and the Bablus and the, you know, that that kind of, that vein of Minecraft content. You know, the Minecraft butt, you know, that kind of thing. Which I've done before. I've just never done that editing style. So, anyway, this is neither here nor there. It's uh, all just to say, I hope you guys enjoy my content. It seems like you do. <clears throat> Obviously, you're not going to subscribe if you don't. And I know that I could optimize my subscriptions if I change the way that I did my content, but that is not something that I'm interested in. So, you guys, you you, you few who do, do enjoy the very slow stuff, the very casual stuff, you few will continue getting this for as long as I am still making content, because this is all I ever plan to do. Of course, I'll improve my editing skills over time and things like that, but I'm, I'm never going to get, like, into it, into it. Um... Of course, unless it started making me a ton of money, in which case, yeah, I'd sell out. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying I'd sell out, but, like, if, if if I got to a point where I had a big enough following that I was making money enough to sustain myself in life and stuff like that, then, yeah, I'd probably hire an editor and, and kick things up a notch and say, like, hey, let's, let's, start, let's start, you know, catering more to bigger audiences so that we can keep these numbers up. You know, that kind of thing. And... I'm not ashamed to admit that. Obviously, if I was making money off of this, then why would I not go for it? It's better than working a 9-to-5 job for the rest of my life, which is probably what I'll do. I love engineering, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love my position at work. I love uh, where my future's heading. I love my career and my field. However, if I could sit and make games, if I could make video game videos for the rest of my life, I would take that over sitting at a desk all the time. Although this is sitting at a desk all the time. So, you know, there's not that big of a difference except for that I'm having fun while I'm doing this, whether regardless, uh, you know, eventually though, it would feel like work. So I guess, I guess grass is always greener kind of thing because, you know, I say it now like, oh, making video games instead of, you know, doing engin engineering work at a desk every day would be so much better. But like, oh, hello. Okay, cool. Um, but, like, obviously, if I started taking this really seriously, then this would become my work. So the only reason I say that is because I have fun playing Minecraft and fun playing video games. And, you know, even though I like engineering, it's not like I have fun while I'm doing it. Um, but, obviously, if, if this became serious enough, then eventually I'd stop having fun doing this, probably. Um, but I don't know. It, it, it's, it's all a hypothetical situation because it's never going to come to that point. Um, I'm always going to be a small creator, and that is fine by me, because I like my small little community. However, I am really excited to hit 1,000 subscribers. One, because I am so appreciative of the support that you guys have shown me. Um, two, because I get to make a new uh, singing cover. <laughs> and three, because 1,000 means that I can start monetizing my videos. And, of course, you guys hate that, because you're going to have to skip an ad every you know, 15 minutes or whatever it is. I don't remember like how often they put... Uh, ads into videos, but you're gonna have to skip it at the beginning of every video and you're gonna have to, since I do long-form content You're probably gonna have to skip it every 10 minutes or something like that um, But anyway Yeah soon when I hit 1,000 you guys you guys are gonna start seeing ads And that means I'm gonna start making a little bit of cash on the side, which is awesome because my, my channel gets um, I think I Right now, it's kind of growing right now. It used to be like 10,000 a month, and now it's getting up to like 15,000 views a month. And I looked that up, and that can be anywhere from, you know, 5 bucks to like 50 bucks. So I'll be somewhere in that range, which is cool. Um, and yeah, we'll just see We'll see what, what happens. But it would be cool to be, you know, it's, it's going to be fun to be monetizing these videos and just making a little bit of moolah here and there. Not that it, it's, you know, pennies to the dollar in terms of, you know, my actual job but <laughs> it'll be still cool and I plan on you know sustaining this channel and, and always making content you know the way that I do it the way that I make content really lends itself to 
this being easy, you know, having constant content rather than like, because I know a lot of YouTubers, like their next video is going to take them like, you know, they'll take 20 hours to edit it or, you know, it's like a whole project. Like it's a whole thing for a, okay, I'm throwing away the one piece of gunpowder. Um, it's a whole thing. If you're like a serious Minecraft YouTuber, one video is a lot of your life, whereas a video for me is literally just 30 minutes of my life because I just sit down, play the game, and record 30 minutes of it. You know, it's very rare for me to s spend a lot of time editing or spend a lot of time, you know, in between clips and things like that, where, like, I'm playing a game and not showing you guys. Like, every once in a while, like, ugh, la last couple episodes when I had to dig... Uh, for the trial chambers, there's like an hour of my life that you guys don't get to see. It doesn't turn into content, but, uh, you know, it's for the content. So it's for the video. Like I'm spending time on the video. Oh, exactly 64 gold. That's funny. I'm spending time on the video, but not actually getting the content out of it. So there's like little examples like that or like my geometry dash series. I'd have to sit down and I'd be like, Oh yeah, I have to edit that video today. And you know, it would take me 30 minutes, but it, it's still 30 minutes. That isn't content for you guys. It's 30 minutes of my life that I have to spend making the content. So, but like, it's so my my style of content lends itself to such ease of like mass production because I can literally just sit down and if I'm just like playing the game and have like a certain you know goal and I and I'm not making a lot of cuts if I play the game for 4 hours I just made 3 hours of content for you guys probably which means that I have 6 videos and if I'm doing like a bi-weekly or like twice a week schedule or something. That's three weeks worth of content already <laughs> in three and four hours. So it's like, you know, it, it's not it's not difficult for me to make a lot of content. So therefore, I mean, there's been points where I didn't post anything on my channel for a while, and that was, you know, largely because I spend a lot of time backlogging and like creating like a bunch of pre-recorded. Oh hi. Hello. Wait. What do we got? Okay. Oh, another piece of deep dark, eh? Cool. Um, anyway, I, I spend a lot of time backlogging. And so, you know, every once in a while, there's a point where, or before, now it should be like a pretty steady flow. But, because um, I'm always recording different series and I should be able to put them out pretty easily. Um, but there was a point... You know, there are points, there, and there can be points in the future, where I am, I finish a series on YouTube, but I'm still, rec like, backlogging another series. Like, I'm still finishing another series. So there can be, like, a couple months where there's nothing posted on my channel, and then a new series starts. Um, for example, like, I hadn't recorded anything, a, like, a lot for a while since uh, Pixelmon, and since I recorded all of Pixelmon before I started posting it. Like, I think I started posting Pixelmon when... I started, I posted episode one of Pixelmon when I was recording, like, the third to last episode of Pixelmon. So, like, episode episode 93 or something like that, which isn't even out yet, which is crazy. Um, but since, you know, I like to do that where I create, like, a big pile of videos, um, that meant that even though, even though it looked like, like a year, I don't know, maybe it was two years, but I think, like, a year where I didn't post anything on my channel, that's because, because that's because nine months of those the that year i was working on pixelmon <laughs> so um i was making content for the channel i just wasn't posting it yet so but now it's starting to be that these series are overlapping like pixelmon is still coming out but i am making this at the same time and i'm making decked out and i'm gonna start making subnautica and i'm making another series which is gonna come out soon so it's like once one ends, another one have, will have already started, and then once that one ends, then another one will have already started. So it's really not, it's not, I don't think that the channel's going to hit lulls for a long time until I run out of games to play or Minecraft challenges to do. But I already thought, like, I literally, yesterday I thought of, like, three different ones that we can do, which is really cool. I saw a video that kind of inspired me, and it was, like, uh, Minecraft's, every unique item in Minecraft expands the world board, which I thought was really cool. Great idea. I can't remember who it was, so I'd, I'll credit... If I do the idea, I'll credit them because it's basically their idea. But I kind of want to take that to an, to its extreme and do a series where we collect every unique item in Minecraft, which I don't think would be that difficult, honestly. There's not a lot of things in the game that are difficult to get. It would just take a lot of time to get each thing. So, 
I don't know. I think that that would be a fun idea. Um, and we would probably do it with the World Warder thing. I'd probably have to install some plugins and stuff like that. Because I think that would be an extra, like, little bit of fun for the challenge. But I, I was thinking about it. And I'm like, that doesn't make the... That doesn't make it that difficult, I feel like. Because, like, you start and you pick up a piece of dirt. Or, piece of... Yeah, you pick up a piece of dirt. You pick up a, a seed from the grass. You pick up a flower. You pick up a piece of wood. You craft that into wood planks. You craft those into sticks. You craft that sticks and that into a pickaxe and then you can also make a slab and a stair and an axe and a shovel and a sword and a, a hoe and you know it, <laughs> by that point your world is already like how freaking big I don't even know super big like because it increases exponentially you'd start with one block but then you'd go to nine and then 25 and then 36 and 47 and and 64 47 hello 49, 64. So you, you, you're making it pretty big after a while. But I guess, I mean, what does that mean? If it's 64, you'd have to get to 256, which would be 16. So you'd need 15 separate items. But I think I just named 15 items, and then you'd have a chunk. So it's like, you know, it gives you a lot to work with. Then you get stone and cobblestone and everything. Like, it, would, it would go really fast, I feel like. so. But it would actually add a little bit of, like, novelty to the challenge. A little bit more of a mechanic. Anyway, I've yapped for a really long time. We were supposed to record six minutes, and of course I've recorded like 15. Meaning that this episode is going to be closer to an hour, even though I said I was just going to do six minutes. But that that's just always how it goes. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you've all enjoyed. I'm excited for the future of the channel. I'm excited to finish this series, which we're coming close to. I mean, once we get Ancient City, then we'll go for Netherite. Netherite, then we go for... Wither Skeleton Hunting, and then Wither Skeleton Hunting is Wither, and we get our beacon, and then we're done. So, yeah, we're pretty we're pretty close, I feel like. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you've all enjoyed. Until next time, have a great day, and goodbye.